X Winder, the original desktop filament winder. This video describes the enhanced two axis model and includes a short tutorial and a winding session. We've added many improvements since the first X Winder appeared in 2012, and we've incorporated suggestions from our beta testers into the new enhanced two axis model. Before the winding session at the end of this video, here's a short tutorial on the X Winder 2. Building parts with the X-Winder is pretty simple. First, the part is created in the designer software, and that outputs a G-code file which is then read line by line by the executor software. The executor operates the X-Winder to build the final part. The designer software consists of three parts, the general input section, the winding schedule section, and the final checklist section. The winding schedule acts like a spreadsheet with one row for each filament layer, and each layer can have its own winding angle and many other parameters. The final winding checklist can include five distinct steps, including two pre-wrap steps if desired, the winding schedule itself, a heat shrink tape step to compress the part and squeeze out the excess glue, and a final heat gun curing process if desired. The designer then creates and outputs the G-code file. G-code is the most widely used language for numerically controlled manufacturing machines. It's a simple text file that contains line-by-line -line build instructions and it's open source by definition. The executor operates the X-Winder to build the final part. The operation of the X-Winder is displayed in real time and indicates the details of each build step. Both programs run on a Windows PC or a Mac with PC emulation software. The X-Winder 2 can be purchased in whole or in parts. You can buy the control box with electronics and software as a standalone product. The frame and carriage parts can be added as a second standalone product, or you can buy the X-Winder 2 with the required stepper motors, belts, and gears included. Since larger mandrels require more motor torque, there are two motor size options available. The X-Winder 2 XL version ships with NEMA 17 geared stepper motors and can handle mandrels up to 3 inches in width. The X-Winder 2 L version ships with the larger NEMA 23 geared stepper motors and can handle mandrels up to 8 inches in width. The X-Winder does not ship with the long bars. This lowers the kit and shipping costs and also gives you the flexibility to make the X-Winder frame as long or as short as you'd like. The long bar should be either 1 by 2 inch or 1 by 3 inch aluminum T-slot extrusions. These extrusions can be obtained in lengths up to 20 feet long from any number of suppliers including Amazon, eBay, and 8020. For a 6 foot long X-Winder, you'll spend about 100 US dollars for the long bars. The X-Winder can build from two types of mandrels, removable or remain in place. Mandrels are not provided with the X-Winder kit. Removable mandrels can be purchased at the local hardware store. PVC or aluminum extruded parts are recommended. Removable mandrels can have a constant convex cross-section or can have linear taper from one end to the other. The final cured part is slipped off and removed from the mandrel after curing. Soluble 3D printed mandrels can be more complex in shape and removed by dissolving in a chemical solution such as sodium hydroxide. Look for a future video on this topic. Remain in place mandrels need to be built from a rigid material and since removal is not required, these parts can be more complex in shape. Thin wall 3D printed parts can be used as mandrels. If the final part is heat gun cured or cured in an autoclave under heat and pressure, the mandrel material should stand up to these rigors. The mandrel is supported on either end by the left and right mandrel chucks, and each layer can be offset any distance from the chuck ends. The layers are defined by a winding angle of the filament relative to the central axis, and winding angles can range from 90 degrees or hoop winding down to about 25 degrees on the two-axis version of the X-Winder. Zero degree winding angles and polar or spherical end caps will be possible with the X-Winder three-axis version, an upgrade to the X-Winder 2 that will be offered later this year. Filaments can be offset from the ends to produce a variable wall thickness part. 
or layers can be staggered to produce stepwise increments in wall thickness. Before you start winding, you'll want to have on hand various tapes including cellophane, electrical, and packing tape. If you are doing a pre-wrap over a removable mandrel, you'll want cash register tape, which is basically two inch wide light bond paper on a roll that you can get from any office supply store. Although not required, heat shrink tape can be used in the final curing process to compress the winding layers and squeeze out any excess glue. Make sure you don't confuse heat shrink tape with heat shrink tubing. They're not the same. A heat gun for the heated curing process. And for cleanup, you'll want paper towels or sanitary wipes. We'll only need a few of these as cleanup can take less than three minutes following the winding procedure. Epoxy resin and hardener. There are many commercially available choices, but you'll want to make sure that the pot life of the glue, that's the time before the glue starts to gel, is longer than the winding time of the final part. And of course, high tensile strength, continuous filament material that can be dispensed from a reel. All of these supplies are not included in the X-Winder kit. For the filament, you can use fiberglass, basalt, Kevlar, aramid, carbon fiber, or other continuous filament materials. Fiberglass is the lowest cost per pound filament on our list. Basalt filament is processed from volcanic rock and is slightly stronger than fiberglass filament, although a bit more costly. Kevlar and aramid filament is lighter and stronger than basalt, but also more costly. And finally, carbon fiber filament tow is lighter and stronger than all other filament. There are many types and grades of carbon fiber, and prices can vary widely depending on the listed tensile strength of the filament. We purchase from ACP Composites, Zoltec, and several eBay vendors with good success. The reel holder on the X-Winder works best with reels that have a 3-inch inner diameter. This is generally a standard in the industry for continuous reeled filament materials. Reels in excess of about 15 pounds, or 7 kilograms, may exceed the carrying capacity of the X-Winder. Let's go through a short description of the X-Winder L version that we're using for the winding. The carriage, the repositionable delivery head that can be located at any distance from the center line of the mandrel. By the way, this will become the third axis when the X-Winder 3 is available later this year. The actual delivery head itself is a nylon eye bolt. The clamp down rollers, 12K carbon fiber loaded at the moment. Removable resin bath with integral roller that'll clean up in about three minutes when we're done. The delivery rollers, a reel of 12K carbon fiber loaded in the dispenser. Geared NEMA 23 stepper for the carriage. Geared NEMA 23 stepper for the mandrel. The mandrel chuck. Mandrel slides we can use to affix the mandrel and today we'll be doing a removable mandrel. This is an aluminum extruded part. We will load in about four uh, feet of it. Two inches long, about an inch in height. We'll do all five steps to show the full capability of the X-Winder. As the machine is currently paused, I have manual control over the clockwise and counterclockwise rotation of the mandrel. I can play or pause the machine at any point during its operation. Right now it's started on the first pre -wrap We're on pre-wrap step number one. I've got my cash register tape. I'm going to stick that to the mandrel and let my hand rest on the delivery head and I'm going to continue operation of the first pre-wrap step with this button. I'm just simply going to let the cash register tape roll out onto the mandrel in the first pre-wrap step. Step two on the pre-wrap, we'll wrap the packing tape just like we wrapped the cash register tape. The machine then resets itself back to begin the winding process. I'm going to move the delivery head. Let's get this right up to the to the part. And I'm going to secure that 
and we're about ready to start the winding process. So I'm going to put just a little bit of glue in there for starters. And we're going to hit the play button and we'll start the winding process. For the part we're building here, there are three filament layers with 45, 75, and 35 degree winding angles, which will give us a final wall thickness of about 48 thousandths of an inch, or about 1.2 millimeters. The winding time, not including other steps, was only 17 minutes for this part. During the build process, the executor displays real-time data, including the line-by-line -line execution of the G-code So the file. winding is now complete. We're going to clean up. I'm going to pull off the clamp-down rollers. I'm going to take, I've got a wet wipe here. Just simply going to wipe those off. Set that down. The removable resin bath, I'm going to pull out the integral roller, and I will simply wash that up a bit with this wet wipe. Make sure the integral roller is okay. I'm now going to take the resin bath and just swab that out with the wet wipe. Okay, the winding is now complete. I'm going to take the heat shrink tape. With a piece of tape, I'm going to apply that to the mandrel and I'm going to start with the heat shrink tape application, I'm going to rest my hand here on the delivery head and just go right down the mandrel, giving it a little bit of tension. After the heat shrink tape is applied, the heat gun is mounted on the carriage and the part cures overnight. In the morning, the mandrel is run in reverse and the heat shrink tape is unwound. Removal of the mandrel. The final part can now be extracted from the mandrel. The paper layer of cash register tape allows the part to slip off from the mandrel. A wooden dowel is used to separate the packing tape from the inner surface of the part. The inner layer pulls out from the mandrel. The final part retains a high degree of dimensional accuracy and wall thickness is measured to within several hundredths of a millimeter. The strength of the final part rivals commercial products. Look for a future video on strength and fatigue testing for X-Winder built parts. For more information, visit us at xwinder.com.